In the quiet corridors of global industry, while the world's attention remained fixed on Silicon Valley and the sprawling innovation hubs of the West, another power was rising. One whose growth was so deliberate, so meticulously planned, that by the time most nations noticed, the balance of technological leadership had already begun to tilt. This is the story of how China, once known as the world's factory, became the engine of the world's technological future. From the rise of the artificial intelligence chatbot DeepSeek to the cultural domination of apps like TikTok, Timu, and Xi'an, China's digital expansion represents not just a new phase in innovation, but a fundamental shift in global power. It's a story that begins not in the boardrooms of tech companies, but in the offices of policymakers in Beijing. In 2015, the Chinese government unveiled an ambitious national strategy called Made in China 2025, a blueprint to transform the nation from a low-cost manufacturing base into a high-tech powerhouse capable of producing the world's most advanced technologies. The plan identified 10 key industries, from robotics and aerospace to clean energy, next-generation information technology, semiconductors, and artificial intelligence. Its objective was clear to end China's dependency on foreign innovation and to create a self-sustaining ecosystem of research, design, and production. Over the next decade, that vision would be realized with staggering precision. Billions of dollars were poured into research centers, university laboratories, and state-backed enterprises. The government encouraged foreign partnerships while simultaneously requiring joint ventures, ensuring that international expertise flowed into domestic institutions. By 2020, China had already spent more than $600 billion in grants, subsidies, and acquisitions aimed at achieving technological self-sufficiency. The results were visible across multiple fronts. In the field of electric vehicles, Chinese automaker BYD surpassed long-standing global leaders, becoming the world's top EV manufacturer. China's advantage in battery production, responsible for over 70% of the global supply, further solidified its dominance. The same pattern unfolded in renewable energy. In solar power, Chinese firms now control between 80 and 95% of the global supply chain. Analysts estimate that by 2028, 60% of the world's renewable energy generation will originate from China. In drones, companies like DJI from Shenzhen command more than two-thirds of the global market, making China not just a supplier of consumer drones, but also the defining force behind drone-based technologies in logistics, filmmaking, and defense. The story of DeepSeek perfectly captures this transformation. When the AI company faced restrictions on accessing advanced American microchips, the kind needed to train large language models, it innovated around the problem. Using older hardware and more efficient algorithms, Chinese engineers managed to produce an AI system that astonished experts worldwide. DeepSeek became a symbol of resilience, proving that ingenuity could triumph even under technological isolation. Similar resilience was seen in Huawei's story. Once at the forefront of global 5G networks, Huawei was struck by crippling US sanctions in 2019 that cut off its access to critical chips and software. Many thought it would mark the end of Huawei's leadership, but instead of retreating, the company pivoted inward, investing heavily in domestic chip making. By 2023, Huawei unveiled a smartphone powered by a Chinese-made processor far more advanced than what Western analysts believed was possible under sanctions. That device wasn't just a phone. It was a declaration of China's capacity to adapt, innovate, and compete, even when the odds were stacked against it. At the consumer level, the cultural influence of Chinese tech firms has been no less remarkable. TikTok became the first non-U.S. social media platform to dominate Western markets, reshaping global entertainment and redefining how a generation communicates. Its algorithm, refined, data-driven, and remarkably precise, outperformed Silicon Valley's best efforts, forcing companies like Meta and YouTube to rethink their entire engagement strategies. Meanwhile, Timu and Xi'an emerged as new forces in e-commerce, blending China's massive manufacturing base with cutting-edge digital logistics. Their success wasn't just about low prices. It was about mastering the algorithmic economy, 
where consumer data and supply chain agility converge to form unstoppable business models. Yet this technological ascent has not come without controversy. Western governments have accused China of unfair state support, industrial espionage, and intellectual property theft. The United States Congress reports that over $1.5 trillion have been allocated by the Chinese government for research and acquisition, a figure critics say distorts free market competition. Beijing, however, maintains that its approach is no different from the state-supported industrial revolutions that powered the West in the 19th and 20th centuries. What cannot be denied is that this model, a hybrid of state capitalism and strategic innovation, has worked. The Made in China 2025 initiative achieved over 86% of its initial goals, according to independent analysis. In some areas, such as electric vehicles, solar energy, and quantum computing, China has not merely caught up, but surged ahead. Chinese researchers now publish more quantum-related papers than any other nation, and their progress in photonic computing, superconducting circuits, and cryptography is narrowing what was once a vast gap with the West. The implications are profound. Technology has long been a measure of global influence, and as China's share of critical industries expands, its leverage in international diplomacy, trade, and security grows with it. This shift has already prompted new waves of strategic counteraction. The United States and its allies have imposed export controls on semiconductors, restricted access to advanced lithography machines, and introduced massive funding programs to reclaim technological leadership. In 2024, Washington announced a $500 billion AI infrastructure initiative aimed at ensuring America remains at the forefront of artificial intelligence. Japan, South Korea, and Germany have followed with similar investments. But for China, these measures serve as both challenge and motivation. The more the barriers rise, the more determined Beijing becomes to build self-reliance across every layer of its technology stack. Behind this industrial transformation lies a cultural shift as well. China's new generation of engineers, researchers, and entrepreneurs are no longer content to emulate Western models. They aim to surpass them. The cities of Shenzhen, Hangzhou, and Shanghai have evolved into sprawling innovation hubs where state laboratories, startups, and universities collaborate in a dense ecosystem of experimentation. This synergy has created what many economists describe as a tech civilization, a society organized around perpetual invention, where the boundaries between science, governance, and industry blur. The government's long-term perspective, often planning 20 to 30 years ahead, stands in sharp contrast to the quarterly profit cycles that dominate Western capitalism. This patience has become one of China's greatest strategic advantages. Still, there are vulnerabilities. China's semiconductor sector remains its Achilles heel. Despite recent breakthroughs, it continues to rely on imported lithography tools and high-end chip designs. And while Beijing's drive towards self-sufficiency accelerates, the United States and its allies are doubling down on efforts to isolate China from the most advanced chip technologies. The battle for semiconductor supremacy may define the next decade, determining not just who leads in AI, but who controls the future architecture of global computing. For now, however, the direction is unmistakable. The digital world, from the drones that film our skies to the platforms that shape our opinions, increasingly carries a Chinese imprint. Every TikTok clip, every Timu purchase, every deep seek response represents a thread in a vast technological web woven by a nation that once lagged behind, but now drives the rhythm of global innovation. Whether through deliberate planning or adaptive resilience, China has altered the course of the 21st century's technological story. As nations race to respond, one truth has become clear. The age of Western monopoly over innovation is ending, and a new era, led by China's disciplined ambition, has begun. The question for the world is no longer if China can lead, but how far it intends to go.